What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell. Drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo we hope everybody had a blessed day. Hope everybody had a great day. You guys I'm doing good, doing blessed and everything. Uh I enjoyed my little I uh hiatus, you know, a little break I took and everything, but uh Let's just say it's a big blessing coming on along the way. I'll tell you that more about that towards the end of the video. Real quick, you guys. If you're going through a bad patch in your life, if you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you're mad at the world, if you feel like nobody don't care nothing about you, you just lost a loved one and everything, please understand something. Jesus loves you and he cares about you. Okay, cash your cares on, on Jesus because he cares about you. <clears throat> if you lost a loved one and everything, please understand they're in the hands of Jesus right now. And they're in a better place. Okay? Keep your head up. Keep that dream alive. Keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Okay? Keep going forward in life. Don't give up on your dream. Keep stay motivated. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about who walk away from you. Don't worry about who do you wrong. They, they're supposed to do that. Because remember, when you are down and out, that's who you find out who your real family and friends are. That's when you find out who really loves and cares about you. But, uh... Just keep your head up, you guys. Keep going until you reach your goal. Don't give up. Keep Jesus first in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. If you are new to my channel, it's your first time tuning in. Please understand some I talk about real shit on my channel. I don't bullshit nobody. I don't lie to nobody. I don't half ass anybody. I'm here to help you. I'm here to challenge you to be a better man and better woman. I ain't here to tell you some more off the wall shit. I ain't here to tell you something about a bunch of damn gossip. I'm here to tell you what's going on in the world and possibly what could be going on with us in your life and how to deal with it. I'm not perfect. I know I don't know every damn thing, but I'm going to give you my wisdom, my knowledge, and stuff that I've ob obtained and learned for being in this crazy-ass world. Okay, if somebody came and said something to you negative about my channel or you yourself don't like my channel and everything, first of all, please go straight to hell. And if you don't like it, hey, it's a whole, there's plenty of other channels you'll be out there watching. Feel, feel free to watch them. Ain't me being disrespectful, just me telling you. Need a negativity for somebody else. All right, you guys. The topic of conversation today, you guys, is this. Real quick before I get into the topic and everything, shouts out to uh, my brother, uh, KD. Shouts out to my brother, Ron. Appreciate you guys and everything for staying in touch with me and watching, you know, hollering at me. I appreciate you guys. But the topic of conversation today, you guys, is called You Are Not Entitled to Nothing. You are not entitled to nothing. Let me explain something, you guys. A lot of people got this thing going around nowadays. Not everybody. But a lot of people got this thing going around nowadays. They feel they entitled. They have some type of entitlement to, you know, to excuse their, you know, their, their bullshit behavior. Let me explain something to you. Ain't nobody entitled to shit. Okay? Ain't nobody died for nobody. Ain't nobody went to the cross for nobody but Jesus. So ain't nobody entitled to shit. If you want respect, you must first show respect. And you must earn respect. If you want somebody to treat you with kindness and love, treat somebody else with kindness and love. Can't nobody treat no somebody that with kindness and love if they being an asshole. So please understand that and everything. Make sure that you treat people the way you want to be treated. Make sure you talk to people the way you want to be talked to. Because like I said before and everything, in case you ain't noticed and you watch on the news... Both men and women get killed every day for running that mouth, for talking crazy, for being disrespectful. Everybody ain't going to put up with that shit. And it's real quick, I want to say this, too. Understand something. Men, let's start with y'all first. Men, you are not entitled to a woman and everything because you got a fat bank account. Men, you are not entitled to get any woman you want because you have a uh, nice car or a nice house and everything. You are not entitled to that. Please understand something. You may draw a female with that and everything, but you will never keep a woman just solely off that thing. Yes, a woman wants to feel and everything she can be taken care of. We all understand that. Yes, a woman be want to feel that she does get pregnant, you'll be able to take care of her and the baby, and yourself included. But please understand something. I know a lot of men, like these damn celebrities, these ball players, they figure they can have any more than any woman they want and everything because they got money. Money does not entitle you to be disrespectful and be ignorant towards other people who may not have as much money. 
education does not entitle you to look down your nose at somebody. Remember I told you guys, arrogance and bougie is a personal choice. It is not a sign of intelligence. It's not a sign of, you know, I'm highly intelligent. That's, that's not what it's a sign of. Arrogance and bougie is, is, is your, way of, uh, your way of showing and your way of saying everything that you figure that you're better than the person that you're talking to. When in actuality, you're just skilled in that one area. That's what your documentation or whatever degree you may have. Please understand some of you guys. Also as men. You're not entitled and everything to having certain things in life. Okay? Because if you want something in life, you won't have to work for it. Please don't think this world owe you something. Please don't go around thinking that your parents owe you something. Your parents owe you nothing but to love you, discipline you, show you from right and wrong, and teach you how to be a man, for a man, for, for a young boy. That's what your parents, particularly your father, should drive that home. Now, if he wasn't there, or mama wasn't there, and everything, look at my other videos that I made, you, I'll talk more about that. But understand something, men, we are not entitled to any woman that just, any cute skirt that just walked by. First of all, as a man, everything, you shouldn't just want any cute skirt that walked by. You want something, everything that's worth taking home to mama, that's worth marrying, that's worth having, that's worth keeping as yours. You don't want to just a cute skirt go, please understand something and everything. If they say as men, we 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 pretty much, we just screw anything or any woman, like any cute woman that allows us to, or we screw anything that walks and everything, please understand something. That's first of all, that's not true. All men ain't that way. Second and everything, you should want you should have more self respect for yourself than that. Okay? Because there's some women out there, believe you me, I don't care how beautiful they are, you are not gonna want to fool with. Cause this here ain't right. Their heart ain't right. They're disrespectful. They disrespect your mom, they disrespect you. You can't trust them and everything. You go to work, honestly, you go a hard day working and everything. You go to work, you don't know if she got a damn dude running through your house. You don't know if she's stealing money. You don't you don't know what's going on. Or she may have a whole nother life or a dude on the side. So the please and everything, make sure the only thing you are entitled to and everything is what you earn in life. That's what you entitled. You're not entitled and everything uh, to earn somebody respect just because you inherit your dad's company. You got to earn that respect just like your dad. Your dad the one built the company and you little spoiled little rich boy or rich girl and everything and you feel you're entitled to everything my dad your dad excuse me your dad uh built and everything you got to earn it just like him yes you're inherited it but you got to earn that same level of respect and that same level of hard work like your dad did if you get what i'm saying now ladies i'm telling talk to you i know a couple of videos you guys may have been beating y'all up and everything but please understand something. It's no knock towards you, ladies, because I get on men far greater, and I talk about men far greater, okay? But at the same time, you have to get on my ladies. Please understand some ladies. You are not entitled to throw stuff and hit a man in the face with. You are not entitled to slap a man and hit a man and everything. Then when he responds, all of a sudden, he's wrong. That, that, that's what the highlights say and everything. How bad you didn't, a man didn't hit you or threw you in some water or slapped you and everything. But yet they don't talk about you hitting and punching and kicking and cussing him out, throwing water and glass and stuff at him. You don't do stuff like that. You're not entitled to be. What trips me out with women, the very thing they say that we want is the very thing, everything that they use to get their way in a lot of ways. The very thing they say that a man is chasing after and everything is the very thing they use to get certain things. From a man. Example. If you a woman. Correction. If you a female and everything. And you know a dude like you. But you don't like him. You What you would try to do. If you were this type of female. Remember a female and a woman are two different people. What you would try to do is use him. To get whatever it is you want from him. It can be sex. It can be money. It can be a nice car. New house. Whatever. And everything. You use with your your body as a way of manipulating him into getting what you want. And then as soon as you get what you want, you leave. But then if he get mad and want to retaliate, now nah, he crazy. Ladies, you are not entitled to hit a man and don't expect the man to respond. My mom, all, like I said before and everything, my mother always said, if you don't want nobody hitting and throwing stuff at you, don't hit and throw stuff at somebody else. You're not entitled 
and everything to be treated like a queen when you're being disrespectful to everybody you come in contact with. Yes, women, ladies are, ladies go first. That's a rule as a gentleman. But ladies, as you see, every man ain't out there ain't no gentleman. And y'all, sometimes you guys come across and everything is arrogant, it's bougie. You feel you entitled to have, if you have a certain level, level of education and everything, you feel you're entitled to have a man who has either the same or more education than you. If you don't have that and everything, oh, he ain't, he ain't worth my time. And I ain't going to lower my standards. Your standards, really? Your standards. Please understand something. That very man you just turned down and everything will find a woman. Or that very woman you just turned down, man, and everything will find a man or a woman who ain't so got their head so far up in the damn air that they forget that they're still human beings. And while you sitting there, you know, got it, got it going on in your personal life and everything, they're going to be more richer and smarter than you because they're the one with the family. And you sitting somewhere trying to get a quick fix of drinking with your friends when the you go home lonely every night. Both men and women. So that's what I'm saying and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not entitled to anything. And if I'm going to keep shit real, and none of us, including myself, entitled to anything but to go to hell. All of us are. Because we all fall short of God's glory. We all in disobeyed Jesus. And we all have a right to go to hell. That's the only entitlement that we have on this crazy ass place we call earth. You are not better than somebody because you live in a better neighborhood. You are not better than somebody because you got more, ed you got different education than them. You're not better than somebody because you drive a nice car and they drive a hoopty. You're not better than somebody because you got a hundred thousand in the bank and they only got a hundred dollars in the bank. You're not entitled. You shouldn't be. The problem with this world, they figured because you have a lot of rich people, figure they should be entitled to get the best. But yet you treat everybody else like shit. You remember, please understand something. How your character is, that will bring forth the entitlement of how people will view you and treat you. In other words, if you act like an asshole and be disrespectful and walk around with your nose stuck up in the air, like you better than somebody, somebody going to treat you and show you how much of an arrogant jackass you really are. You're not entitled to that. You're not entitled to hit somebody and don't expect somebody to pop you back. You're not entitled and everything to pull a gun on somebody. Get on the effing ground and don't expect nobody to pull a gun on you back. I don't care who you are. If I ain't done nothing wrong, then why are you messing with me? I don't know why people think they got these entitlements. Oh, I'm not entitled to tell you the truth and everything. I'm your friend. I'm not entitled to tell you the truth and everything. You got to find that out of bullshit. I'm telling you the truth. Tell me the truth. If I'm being real with you, be real with me. I feel that I have that entitlement and everything as I'm being real with you. Remember, entitlement is nothing more than a reflection in a mirror. It's how you feel you should be treated or how you should be treated by other people. Baseball, how you treat somebody else. If you think you're too damn pretty, you think you're entitled to all the boys and women, all the boys and men hollering and screaming your name and compliment you and everything somebody need to bring your your little flower pot ass back down to earth you're not entitled to that yes you're a beautiful woman but still don't let the shit go to your damn head because i promise you and everything what good is having a pretty face and a jacked up ass attitude it, it don't it don't go together a lot, a lot of these people kill me talking about oh i choose to be single or oh, i choose everything because men don't fit my criteria or men or excuse me, women don't fit my criteria and everything. First of all, there's nothing wrong with having standards. I'm going to say again. There's nothing wrong with having standards, people. But when you start acting like you better than somebody, when you start acting like that you on, you on floor 110 and everybody else on floor 4, we got a problem. Because the issue is and everything... You didn't got your brain. It got bigger than what the reality is in your life. There's nothing wrong with being beautiful. Nothing wrong with being handsome. Nothing wrong with having money in the bank. Nothing wrong with being successful in whatever career you have. But make sure you stay humbled. Stay humbled more than anything. The one thing I can't stand is an arrogant person. Because if it would be like I said, they got degrees. They drive a nice car. They got a nice home. Well, I'm better than you now. 
I'm entitled and everything to be have the, the the best food. I'm entitled for everybody to wait on me hand and foot. I'm entitled for people to pick up my dress as I walk. I'm entitled and everything to so somebody to go get my briefcase and get my money and everything. Nigga, please. Try that bullshit. You're going to be entitled to an ass whooping. And I ain't got time for that, man. You ain't entitled to shit. If you treat people like shit, expect shit in return. That's the entitlement you're going to get. You disrespect people, expect somebody to disrespect you. You walk around like you pre Madonna and everything got it all figured out. Somebody gonna bring your ass back down to earth and tell you how they re how you really are. Please understand something. When somebody really tell you and show you how you really are, that's cause they do care. And they need to they don't care that could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, or your wife. Let's get back to being honest with our uh our spouse, honest with our, our, our significant other. Let's get back to that. Just because you parade around here and everything, come on, well, I have rights and everything to, uh, I have, what, what what they call it? Oh, I have rights and everything because uh, to be the LGBT community. I have rights and everything. You won't have no damn right. I have rights and everything, walk around kissing the, the same sex in public and showing confusion to kids. Come on, you're entitled and everything for everybody to accept this bullshit America keep trying to push on. You're confusing children. I keep saying it, I'm going to say it again, everything. Homosexuality and lesbianism, is, lesbianism and everything is not of God. You can say what you want, like I said, if you're a real Christian and everything, why are you arguing with me? It says it in this word. Don't give me this shit and everything talking about, well, uh, God loves everybody. Yes, God, God loves everybody. That's the case. God loves killers. If that's the case, God love molesters. If that's the case, God love adulterers. I mean, we're going to keep shit real. You're not entitled and everything to be sitting up here kissing another the same sex in public. Promoting this bullshit and the kids growing up wondering they want to be a man or woman. It's not right. The wrong shit is being displayed in the world. The thing that you're supposed to be chasing after is not right. Chase after Jesus. If you a man, be a man. If you a woman, be a woman. I'm always stand firm on that. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Ain't nobody entitled to shit. If you got you a real friend in your life like I got two. And everything. Friends in my life that are real and everything. I'm very entitled for me to be real with them. Talking about my dude, KD. My brother, really. KD and my brother, Ron. Ron. Yeah, I hear from them all the time. They're my dudes right there. They entitled for me to treat them with respect because they treat me with respect. They entitled for me to be honest with them because they honest with me. We're going to keep shit real. The only time entitlement is really born is how you treat others. So you be an asshole to the others and somebody else and everything. And you're going to be entitled to somebody be an asshole to you. You sit here and cheat on your wife or cheat on your husband and everything. And y'all end up getting divorced when you get that man or that other woman that you cheated with. They're going, to, they're going to return a favor. I'm just telling you and everything. You reap what you sow. That's the really only entitlement. You reap what you sow. Everybody keep thinking that they deserve something everything. Life don't owe you nothing. Don't nobody owe you shit. Work for it. Earn it. Quit, and quit, quit trying to act like you better than somebody because you inherited your father's business. But yet you ain't put no blood, sweat, and tears like he did to start the business. Now you walk around Boston employees around talking to them crazy. My dad big up this company and I can do whatever the hell I want and everything. That been me your ass being that damn grinder. Ain't nobody got time for that shit, man. Just because you a police officer and everything don't mean, I don't care who you are. You're not entitled and everything. Just grab and throw me on the ground and don't tell me what's going on. You're not entitled to disrespect me and say any damn thing you want to me and I'm not supposed to say anything. I understand you're a cop. I get that. I have no problem with authority. But you're not entitled to point a gun at me. And you ain't even telling me why. You're not entitled to come in my house without a warrant. So I'm just letting you know. You're not entitled to that shit. You're not. I don't care what rule or what law that is. No. We talking about human being. Point a gun at me. Expect one to get pointed back at you. Fire at me. Expect one to be fired back at you. Okay, care who you are. How you treat somebody, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put it to you like this. 
the people that you have in your life, the people that you hang with, the people that you talk with is a reflection of your own character. I'm going to say it again. The people you hang with, the people you associate with, the people you keep in your inner circle is a reflection of yourself. Because birds of a feather flock together. So please understand something and everything. Be different than the crowd. Watch the crowd you bring. If you sit up here acting a damn fool, they doing drugs and everything, what you think somebody going to label as you? And you're going to be entitled, sadly, and everything to be treated that way. The only entitlement a black man have on this world and everything is to be treated like shit. The only entitlement a black man have in this world and everything is to get harassed by an ass nine policemen for no reason, don't have concrete evidence. Then get thrown in jail and everything for what, 30, 40 years? And then you find out it wasn't me that done the crime. The sad part about that is because of the way America is, they feel, America feel that we are entitled to that. We, they, they're entitled, you got just the same thing with white people, they feel they, they privilege. They figure I should be able to do whatever I want to a nigga. He can't do nothing. Spit on him, kick him, punch him, shoot him, stab him, throw him in jail. He better not say a word or a word. You feel you entitled and everything. Not here you ain't. <laughs> you ain't entitled to shit. Earn it. Earn it. Like I said, ladies, you're not entitled. Men, you're not entitled. You earn your way. Men, you're not entitled and everything just because... You got a pocket full of money. You figure you should get every penny line that you see. Women, you're not entitled and everything because you look good for a man to spend a bunch of money on you. You're not entitled to that. You got to earn that. Make I'm going to put it to you like this way because of the way the world is and everything. If you a man, earn, make a woman earn your way into your wallet. Make sure she's worth spending your hard-earned money on. I'm talking about brothers who are doing money, trying to do life the right way. I ain't talking about just to sleep with her and everything. Like I said, if you just want to sleep with her, go hire you a damn hooker. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, not have a nice day. If you just want sex. But if you a brother out here actually looking for something, make that sister earn your way, earn her way into your wallet. Earn your way into your car. Especially if you got yourself, you know, you balling, you got yourself together. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care how sexy she is. I don't care what her sex is. I don't care what she can do in the bedroom. Please understand something. And I'm going to get on, so I'm going to flip it on the other side. Please understand something, fellas. If she can do all that nastiness to you just to get what she want, what makes you think she won't leave your ass and go do it to another man? I'm just keeping shit real. And same thing with you, ladies. Make a man earn, if you, everybody, we're going to keep shit real. Make a man earn, your, his, earn his way into your draws. Earn your way, earn his way into your life. Make a man earn it. Not just smooth talk, yeah. Not because he got money in the bank. Not because he got a nice car, a nice job. Remember, that come, that's part of the package. The real package is his character. What good is you being with a man that can take care of you because he got all the money in the world, but he treats you like shit? What good is having a man and everything who's big, buff, and strong just like you are, but he hits you every day? You see what I mean? So I'm just letting you know and everything. Make a man earn it. You stop I don't want to hear this. You get to crying and whining and complaining. Well, he left me and everything. Or he done this. Or he done it. He got me pregnant. What I'm feeling. You knew that nigga wasn't no damn good when you was messing with him. Both of y'all came from the party tipsy and everything. You mess around, let his ass slide in. Now you're pregnant. Make a man earn it. Earn his way into your life. And we're going, like I said, keeping shit real, earn his way into your damn draws. We're keeping shit real. If you got a child and everything before you before you uh, get with the man, make a man earn his way to uh, spend time with that child. Watch him, observe, observe him. Last thing you need is a damn pedophile for a, for a boyfriend. Last thing you need and everything is a damn uh, child molester or uh, um, somebody who like to hurt kids. You don't need that. Earn it, earn it. I'm telling you, I can't stress that enough. It's Brother 19, you guys. Husbands, wives, earn each other's respect. Wife, if your, uh, if your husband have earned your respect, I'm talking to my, uh, the wives here. If your husband has earned your respect and he treats you right, he's done things right, he's entitled to your body. 
Gonna give me the shit and everything talking about, well, I get tired of having sex with him. That's all that nigga think about and everything. Well, last night he didn't do it that good. No way. Nobody want to hear that bullshit. And you should be telling your friends and family what's going on in your bedroom or in your house. But you breaking a code of that thing. You shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to tell you something else and everything. He is entitled to your body. When a man, if a man needs sex from you and everything, he's entitled to that. It says it in God's word. It's not, uh, the wife body is not her own and the man body is not his own. And she needs sex from you, man. Yeah, believe it or not, some men actually have a problem with that. I mean, if she needs sex from you and everything, you're not entitled to hold back. She's entitled to get to re receive your body. I keep telling you, men, women, you better hear me. I don't give a damn how pretty or handsome your ass is, how much money you got, how much education you got. If you don't give your spouse, your husband, or your wife what they are entitled to, since they didn't marry you and they treat you good for the most part, they ain't perfect. The devil gonna slip into your marriage and what you don't give your husband, because he's entitled to that, he's your husband, the devil gonna slip in with another woman will and vice versa. Husband, what you don't give your wife, whether that's listening to her, making more love to her, uh, hearing her out, talking to her, asking her how her day is, whatever the case may be, some other man gonna push right up in there. Make it where can't no third party get in there. That's what I'm telling you. A man is entitled to your body, ladies. He your husband, he's entitled to your body. You don't want to give it, you mad at him and everything, like I said. Don't be surprised you look up. You keep treating him like that. Don't be surprised you look up. A few months later and everything, you mess around with somebody else. The same thing with you, man. If you a woman is entitled for you to listen to her. For you to cherish her, respect her as a woman supposed, as a man supposed to. But if you don't do those things, don't be surprised. Another brother sitting up there talking all shop. Now you want to get mad. And same thing with you ladies. Now you want to get mad. Sometimes in a relationship, we cause our own demise. Because how we treat our spouse. That's not right. Get shit together, y'all. This Beretta 19. You're not entitled to shit. Not me, not you. Earn it. Earn your right to be respected. Earn your right and everything for your husband to come home and he can trust you. Earn your right for your wife to come home and she can trust you. Earn your parents, excuse me, earn your kids respect. If you took care of them, you done what you're supposed to and everything, they owe you respect. But if you ain't did those things, hey, earn, earn it, y'all. You're not entitled to anything. And no, no nobody going to pull a rabbit out of their ass and everything and hand you life. Get up off your ass and go get it. I'm just keeping shit real with you. Don't nobody entitled to shit around here in this world. Earn it. Everything I've gotten in my life, I had to earn. And nobody wanted to give me. People walked away, gave up, phony ass friends, phony ass family. People said all kind of shit about me. But I still kept ticking. I earned my right to be respected. I earned my right to not to be looked at as a statistical black man. One big reason, everything, because I, I kept it in my pants. I went out there robbing people. I didn't have, uh, I went out here shooting and killing people. I went out here doing dumb shit. I went out here selling drugs. I earned that right to be respected in that way. I'm entitled to that kind of respect because I earned it. Remember, if you haven't earned it, you don't deserve it. If you, if you feel you entitled, then you a fool in the mind. Earn it. This Beretta 19, y'all. I appreciate you guys. And real quick before I go, you guys, I got me a big time job. Probably the best job I ever had in my life. Everything will be working and everything. Let's just say for the government. And I'm happy about that and everything. I'll give more details in another video. But some good, you guys. Nothing bad. Let's just say God answered my prayer on some things. And I'm happy about that. But I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you and everything. No, I ain't the feds and nothing like that. So get that out of your mind. But I'm just telling you, if you want something in this life, if you want real results, you have to earn it. You're not entitled to it. You got to earn it. I don't give a damn what's going on. I don't care who's in power before you and handing it down to you. You got to earn respect from your employees. Because if you don't earn it, ain't nobody going to respect you. And ain't nobody going to deal with you. This is 19. Y'all be blessed. Earn it. You're not entitled to it.